Hey, do, do anything different. Here's what you're going to see on video. You start like this. See your puff face? Like that. Then you bring it in. Get it like that. Hands are forward. Now, if I'm hitting that shot, and when I finish up my, my hands and I put my pub like this, see what my face is doing? Not so good. But you will not hit the ball as far, unfortunately, but watch the difference now. Face up. done a nice job uh, with quiet hands going back congratulations that's a good job uh, your right side is stabilizing very nicely your left arm is straight I like that uh, you're bracing 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 okay good shoulder turn coming down a little bit of a flip right there and there you are coming in and around into your finished swing okay um, well done. Okay, so looking at your swing coming back. All right. That's amazing your flexibility. Um, so you see where your hat is right there? And um, so one of the things that you always need to work on, which, which we've always talked about, was I want that head to stay so that your hat, your hat, would still be straight okay so we're getting this down on video right yeah. this is good all right like I said beautiful shoulder turn nice hip turn pretty solid there you didn't sway very much my, my question is um, so if I just draw this line on your knee right there like the uh, let me just do that again that knee right there okay let's make sure that the right knee doesn't sway all right, like this right knee, if you take a look at this right knee coming in. So this, these are all, all good things you're doing very well. But take a look at his right knee and his head. What did you notice happened in both those cases? They stay still. They stay still. Good answer. Okay, now let's take a look and see how much you bump your hip forward at the start of your golf swing. Here's, here's Rory. There's the bumping of the hip forward. Here you are, bumping up the hip forward, good, and then coming down, maintaining the angle, coming down, okay, awesome job, awesome job, now you're going to hit the ball, and we're going to make sure that the hands are forward when you hit the ball, and your shaft's leaning forward, so we come down, and you'll see the difference in where his hands are, way up here, compared to where they were at the start. Okay, so you look at your hands started there and they're pretty well right there, correct? Would you agree with that? Okay, so there's your, so if you brought your hands back a little bit to begin with, right about there, that's where they should be, right? Okay. Major jump on your feet. See that? So we're still... Because you want power, because you want to hit the ball so far, your, um, your feet are coming off the ground, right? A little bit. So we want to keep those feet kind of flat on the ground and into that finished swing, all right? So I like how you're bumping your hip. Beautiful. Bump it. 
I like how you're maintaining this leg here. That's that's amazing right here, which is good. All right. So I'm going to give you a fantastic drill I do almost every other day, and it's going to really help you. But it's going to, you're going to have to get a a ball to do it. Okay. All right. So the next one we're going to look at is. Um, so this, this is why I, was, I wanted to see how you're coming along. If you're coming along really well, I wanted to kind of just take you right out there and play a little bit. But let's take a look at this here. This is, uh, this is your grip, okay? So I need to ask you, your front knee, which way is it moving? Forward. Forward. And which way should it move? In. Good answer. Yeah, because I'm going to tell you right now, your weight is going to go on your toes right now when you do that. Okay, now you're coming to hit the ball. And this is why you want to, I've always said to you, have that really important trigger finger, right? Because that trigger finger really helps you create this leg coming in. This is this should be by rights. Um, see the angle that you mean, that right there? This angle should make, maintain just like, as I mentioned to you in your squash game, right? Yeah. You gotta maintain that angle coming in and we can't straighten it out too soon or we lose a lot of power. But that little trigger finger there helps you do that as well. And the, right there, see there's a little bit of a flip. Right there, there's a little bit of a flip. Right there, see that? And if you take a look at Rory coming back and through, I'll show you what I mean. Coming down and through, so what he's doing is maintaining this angle right there. See this this angle right there? He's maintaining that. Now watch his hands coming through. And see they're not really flipping, are they? Till right about there where you are flipping too early. Alright? So how many so what's your best score for uh for um, nine holes or eighteen, have you done? Have you have you done eighteen holes yet? Um. Hmm? No. Well, only for the oh. tournament. Right. And how did you do in the tournament? Mm. Did you have fun? Yes. Hit some good shots. Mm. And what was your score? Ninety-five. Fantastic. Were you happy with that? Were you okay with that? You want to be better, right? Okay, and um, and it, the girls your age, and knowing that this is really your only first year of really playing really a lot of golf, right? How did the other girls your age group do? Or were the girls in your age group? No, you were the only girl in your age? So what were your scores like compared to the other girls? Out of six, I think out of six people, I was out of nine. Oh, out of nine, sorry. Yeah. Out of nine, I was sixth. Nice. And three. Out of, oh, I don't know the age, but. Okay, cool. So, let's take a look at this and tell me what your thoughts are, okay? On the swing. Here's your swing coming up. So tell me your thoughts on that. I do not know. Okay, and here's um so here's a here's a box. I'll just draw that line since I've got it already there. And then this one down. Okay, and um so what's your thoughts on that swing? What, give me some ideas. What, what do you think? When I was going back, it was a little um, inside the line. Mm -hmm. And when you're coming down, give me your thoughts on that. It was outside. Yes. Okay. Um,
so there's good posture. Uh, one thing I'm going to suggest you do right now, that, that butt end of your club appears to be pointing at your where? Belly? And his butt end of his club is pointing where? Belt? So you need to drop your hands down a little bit. Okay. Um, he's taking the club a little bit more up. And that's when he hits the box right there. You can see that, right? Okay, so we got to get you into uh, doing some... Uh, loop de loop my darling. Okay, there you are. And there's your, your club hitting the box right there. Notice that your head has moved forward. And a lot of it's moving forward because your left knee is moving forward quite a bit. See that knee's moving way out here like that? His isn't really moving out that much, right? And then, I want you to look at this. That club's coming down this arm and we need the club to come down the other arm. We need the club to come down closer to this line. Well, if you take a look at it, so it's a habit, isn't it? So if I draw this line right here, and I, t I take you up to the top, okay, up to the top, and stop. Now draw this line here, like he has on, in, on his swing. I will take him up to the top, and I'll draw this line down okay and watch where his hands and arms come down a lot closer to that line there would you agree see the club coming down on that line right there right okay and if we take a look at yours it's coming down the other line which means you're coming what they call over the top and then you can see what's happening with your foot right now it's slipping out and a beautiful finish swing though gorgeous all right but you can see that you're you're almost straight up and down like this now aren't you see the difference whereas he is still he's still like this going through all right I'm gonna turn it upside down like this and all I'm gonna do is take this water and splash it right down like that see that like now if I do this here with the water that's not so good right so let me see you with the bucket of water first, okay? So how about you?